Hello and welcome to H1Z1, a little quick overview of this game that came out earlier last week? Yeah, it was last week on uh, the Steam Early Access. It's Twindell Bucks and it's a um, survival horror. Um, it has a lot more potential than um, than DayZ has, I feel like. DayZ is made by Bohemian Interactive. I don't think Bohemian Interactive has a grasp of what they have done with the franchise of Daisy and what they are with the roadmap. I re come out a couple of months ago. It's really showing that they have no idea what they're doing with that game. I'm not saying H1Z1 is better. I'm saying that it is better in certain areas and worse than others. Um, the best thing it has going for it is actually 20 bucks. It's, it is an early access, um, and it will be into the once it's done with the early access, probably in 20, 2020, um, you know, when EverQuest Next comes out, but uh, it's, you know, it's SOE, Sony Entertainment Online. They haven't had a good record of games. There is a strong fan base for these peop for these things, but again, Planetside 2 is a joke. It does nothing special, and it seems to be uh, not many people play it. All you people that really hate on that, just look at the fucking numbers. There's nobody playing it in this fucking huge-ass game. EverQuest Landmark seems to be another joke Minecraft clone that doesn't do anything special except that you have a lot more tools at creating stuff, but you still have to grind the materials to get them. And then EverQuest Next is still MIA. Sadly, I, oddly enough, DC Online is still doing well, at least on PS4. I have found it actually very impressive, but on PC I have no idea. Again, this is on PC, uh, mousing right there. And so let's get started. You know, it will feature wipes and all that stuff. Um, actually, hold on. Let me, um... So this is what you get. That's store hub. Where? Store. S Community hub. There used to be a store page right here. But there's a lot of people playing. Um, so this is what you get. So you buy $20. You get early access. Three event tickets, no idea. Two crates and one key. That's it. And then... Then with the forty dollar one, you get the um, the same thing: twenty five, three airdrop tickets, six crates, four keys, and the exclusive aviator hat crafting to to be. So the main people are complaining about is the crates you can or the airdrops. You can drop them down, and they're going to contain loot. And so what people are complaining about? Let's see. Oh, it looks like all those guys are fucking like getting squashed out. But it, a lot of people were complaining it, it was a free to play um, for the first I think two days. A lot of people were hating on it, and then um, they changed it so that the uh, the it would take longer for the sh plane to arrive at its destination. And once it gets to its destination, the airdrop will take longer to get down. That being said, it's now you if somebody drops the thing there, they have to wait there that much longer, and everybody on the map will know where it is. And it's a small map too. Enough of that. So here we are. Click to continue. There we go. Unlike, um... Oh, cool, they got some of that. Unlike... Unlike Daisy, there is no hive. It's more like Rust in a way where you... All your stuff is on one server. All your guy, your... Your bases, all your... Stuff is on one character. So it's really cool. Um, there's also different types of, uh... Rules, or... Servers. Which is very interesting. You know, we got PvP... Recipe wipe, so when you die, you get recipes just like in Rust. You learn recipes, but unlike Rust, you die, you keep the recipes, but on these servers, once you die, you lose all your recipes. Um, headshots only, I take it that you have to hit them in the headshots to actually do damage, or you go down to 1%, I don't know. And then uh, first person mode. Right here we have uh, PvE only. Um, what? This doesn't make any sense. Then why would you... Maybe maybe for zombies or something? It might have to be with zombies. I wouldn't be surprised. That would make more sense. And then uh, PvE. Also that stuff. So there's no hardcore or anything. But there is... Um... Okay, they also say PvE on the side. So what's the point of these? Interesting. But it's still beta testing. You know, there's still some filters and all that stuff. Uh, when you join a server, you're, you're greeted with a green dot when you leave the server. So you know where your guy is. So I'm going to join Romero. And hit join. And, oh cool, we can create other characters, cool. And play.
the main thing I had with DayZ was it the same it was the same map as um, as um, oh, what do you call it uh, Chernaris and the DayZ mod so it wasn't really fresh it just felt like the same fucking game um, you know they're still trying to work on new, new rendering engine but with Dean Hall out of the picture I wonder how much you know how much voices behind there um, Arma is Arma 3 is doing well but I mean it's pretty much just Arma li Ultus life in that and all I ever seen when I joined those servers let's see here so this is the woods area um, one thing I really confuses me a lot is the um, is these trees all have uh, I guess they're not missing branches at first I thought they were cut Overall, the game seems to run a little bit better. Right now, I'm at, uh, you know, 48 frames a second. I am recording, so I do not have the best computer. But it's, uh, it seems a lot better. A lot of people, like, there's a GIF that came out when H1Z1 was starting to gain some horses about, um, the difference between the worlds, and people were like, oh yeah, aren't DayZ so much better because you can see farther and all that stuff. But it was a picture from the DayZ mod. And so, in Daisy standalone, you actually can see less, and that's how they get away with optimizing. Um, the less you see, the less your video card renders, thus, uh, the less, the more frame rate you can get. And that's, that's, that's developing 101. The farther you see, the more shit you have to render, and the, um, the more, the less frame rate you get. So, um, shit, I have no idea where they are. So you spawn... I just recently died because I starved. I sp you spawn with a flashlight, um, some other things, flares. Uh, I still still don't know how how to how to do this ship, but I'm not going to deal with that right now. It is really refreshing that the world is um, kind of new. Uh, it it is all in English. While Daisy, I get, I'm going to make tons of comparisons, try to like bring up both positives and negatives of both games while I'm playing this. Daisy, I have a problem with is that the uh, the world map. The, the actual streets are in Cyrillic. That is the uh, the Russian um, language, Eastern European language. While the map is in uh, Latin, with Latin numbers, uh, it's so it's uh, really really stupid. So it's really hard to figure out where you are in the map. So here we are coming up on a, um, a place. So there is no in-game map yet. So all you have to do is just shift tab and go to the guides, and there's there's one. There's also some websites out there, but it's 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 a really straightforward map. Um, there seems to be two roads on the outside going north and south, and then two roads on the outside, out, at the outskirts of the the map that go um, left and right or east and west. Again, remember, there's no watch, so we can um, the shadows. There is a day and night cycle, so we can see the shadows. Um, so the sun is over there if we can't see it. Let me see. Let's just wait here. So, what? What are you doing? You're going the wrong way. You're supposed to get bigger. Why are you moving? Okay, so... Hmm. Interesting. Uh, these bushes are berries, so you just press E to pick them up. It's a nice little thing there. You do get a stick from that. Here we are. We're on the main drag here. Um, like we get street signs. We get North Horn Road and G Street, and then uh, we get you know route numbers. 14 going south, and 14. Okay, cool. That's south, and uh, 14 going north. Let's see here. So again, we could just you know pop up this map here. This uh, this under the guides. We can find out where we are. Let's see here. Up. So I think I'm right about here or something. Th though this is not a, the best resolution. Oh, Eagle Drive is where I'm at. Yeah, so I'm right here. And that, that's it. That's, I found myself. It's pretty cool. Wait, yeah. That Eagle Drive? No, that's G Street. Where the fuck is G Street? Oh, it's, I'm right over here. Okay. Um, and then let's go to uh, this town right here and check it out. 
the game right now I'm running at 40. Uh, I do record at 60. You know, I, I use Shadow Play. I, I find Shadow Play pretty pretty decent. You know, just a, just an average thing. Um, here we go. You can just search through uh, cars just by pressing E. Let's see, there's nothing here. I uh, wonder if they added loot again. Well, for the longest time, I couldn't find loot. This pisses me off right here. Look at this. this is sloppy as shit. <laughs> Slop, sloppy. You just the world. I think it's just refreshing the world. Um, the sea did have like a little bit more life to it. There's there's inhabitants that lived here. This is a modern town. This is, you know, hey, shit has been here. You know, here's a gas station. Here's a store. We're going to encounter, um, in other places, giant supermarkets like a Safeway or cars or whatever your mega, you know, your your grocery store. Or, Jesus Christ. Punji sticks. Oh, fuck. Pick up. What the fuck? Where is that? Oh, wow. Where the fuck is that? Oh, there it is. Um, let's see here. So we can just easily eat. It doesn't give much. But it does give hydration and a lot of stuff. Oh, shit. Six. But yeah, it's just, it's just, there's only one store in, um, in, um, in Daisy, and it's just there's another okay. The lighting, of course, you can see that it's 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 a little bit more eerie. There's a lot more ambient sounds going on, but it just it just seems better. Not like better. It just like seems a little bit more competent and a little bit more focused on where it's going. Uh, Daisy mod just seems like a battle arena more than a um, than an actual like a survival game. You know, it doesn't. The world doesn't see. It's the same world that you were in Arma 2. Like it's nothing does it, anything special or anything. It doesn't do anything great. This doesn't do anything great either. But it's at least it has direction. Um, you know, it is coming from a bigger company that can push out a little bit more. Uh, you know, work. You know, Sony Online Entertainment. It's a big juggernaut. Though they, again, I've mentioned before, they're not the best developer, but they, they have a little bit more force and will towards pushing something. Um, seeing demos at PAX for H1Z1, it looks a little bit more competent than DayZ. Let's see here, I'm just... Still, I can't seem to find loot. I've been told that, uh... Some stuff doesn't, uh... Jesus Christ, look at the size of this forklift. Some st the, the looting of stuff in, in cars and all that stuff does not seem to... Oh! Doesn't seem to work. Once in a while you hear a car going by, which is really nice, because it is an ambient noise. That's really eerie. Come on, give me some loot. I don't wanna fucking... <sighs> Found a headlight, I don't know what that fucking does. So there are vehicles already in here, drivable. Uh, but it's just... Another thing about DayZ that I, I kind of don't like is that... Since the map doesn't have really any boundaries... Technically, you could... Just... Get a car, once they added those, and just put them off to the side of the map. And then... Once you log back in on the server, your that that car is now gone forever. Unless they have respawns and ooh, rotten chicken. Nothing here. Let's um see if I can put this on the fire or anything. That's always good. A nice bin fire. Here. 
no mouse wheel is that. Hmm. Okay. Let me figure it out sometime. Eh. The first thing, yeah, the first, you know, week is going to be really hard for, um, for uh, H1Z1, because a lot of people are, since they're figuring, still figuring out loot stuff, there's going to be a lot of, hey, I'm going to kill you because that's, because you probably have loot and I don't have loot. It's, um... It's one of these problems with these survival horror games. They're really just battle arenas. They don't... They're not a survival game. So again, just like uh, in Armour and Daisy, holding down Alt allows you to look behind you and around you. First person. What the hell? That's weird. I have to reset. Oh, well, that's really weird. So I'm holding Alt right now, but I can't move look left. Then if I unlock weird. There, of course there's a sprint. Is that a person up there? That is a person. Is it? It's a zombie. <laughs> Sadly, uh, there's no zoom in. Huh, that's weird. Uh, you can use the well for getting water, which is real nice. So you did it. Hydrate me. One of these games I do not understand is uh, why you need food more than water. In reality, you need water over food. They seem a little bit more competent, or the zombies seem a little bit more like zombies than ones in Daisy. Um, pack. Come on, you stupid bitch. Fuck this, I'm gonna try to see if I can get get inside the house and close the door. Holy shit! Rotten meat, rotten chicken. You can't pick up rotten chicken. Interesting. Or... Wait, let's put these in here. Now I just need to figure out how to cook this stuff. Hmm. Now there is a countdown when you try to log out. I assume it's the same thing that happens when you uh, uh, ult F4 out of the game, just like in DayZ. There's kind of a countdown, so you can't just like fuck it.
guess since they're part of Sony, they can use Sony. Oh, I like this. Sexy. Okay, let's see. Recipes. Crafting bandages. Campfire. Two wood logs. Craft? How do I make logs? Wood log. Wood plank. Campfire requires two wood logs. How do you make wood logs? The hell? Huh. Let's see here. I don't know how much more we can I can show you about this game. Oh, okay. So these are constructed items you can see with their health bar. Somebody constructed those. Interesting. Oh wow! Yeah, let's check this out and uh, see what happens. Let's uh, see what's on the other side. Wow, somebody made a base here. There is doors that you can lock and all that stuff, so I might not be able to get in. Oh Jesus! Hello. Wow. Holy shit. It's crazy. Whoa, this put a lot of somebody put a lot of effort into this. Man, this is crazy. And one thing I wonder how they handle a lot of this stuff is uh what will happen when you know people start making dicks or something or or, uh, you know, the world just becomes full of shit. This is H1Z1. And look at all these cabinets. There seems to be more variety of houses, too, and a little bit more complex stuff in the, the houses. Oh, wow. Even kind of, like, made... Animal rabbit meat. Fuck yeah. Like this. Let's see how that they third person. Oh, it has to be like This just made... Wow, crazy. Let's see here. Oh, baby. There we go. Huh. Cool. Wow, yeah, yeah. I expect uh, some of this stuff to be pretty crazy. It looks like this is used rabbit traps. I wonder how they get wood, though, and logs. Demon is low. Okay, well, I'm just gonna close this off. And uh, call it for H1Z1. So this is what happens when you just lock off. Marketless. Oh, here's this. So, let's see here. Station cash. It... Uh, I don't know. This stuff is a little shady. It, it could be done better. Uh, it's like five bucks for five. And then you best value! Or five bucks for five hundred. It's, it's pretty shit. Keys, bundles. I, I still don't have no idea what crates are used for. But as always, thanks for watching. Let's take like ten seconds to get out. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to uh, like, comment, subscribe. And always stay tuned for the more Z H1Z1 as this game progresses. Bye.